Michelle Sawatsky with you once again courtside at the 2012 CCAA Men's Volleyball Championships. And another great match played here. I'm here with uh, Utaway's player of the game, Jeremy McAndrew. Uh, Jeremy, congratulations on being player of the game. Uh, my first question, as the setter of this team, uh, you know what, as you run the team, what do you think of in running your team to be successful, running the plays? Uh, comme passeur, qu'est-ce que tu fais pour... Uh pour construire l'équipe, pour, pour construire ton jeu, pour être euh, efficace. Mais premièrement, étant donné que c'est des grands bloqueurs, c'est une équipe qui est vraiment physique, euh, j'ai dû séparer, j'ai dû essayer de séparer, puis même, même le passeur au bas, c'est un, un gars assez physique. On était une jeune équipe, donc euh, j'ai dû séparer, j'ai séparé mes attaquants pour créer des 1 sur 1, mais des fois c'est difficile, la, la réception n'était pas toujours là, mais c'était un peu ça ma game. Colombia has a big height as a blocker, and his strategy was to was to play in fixation, which means uh, having a 51 and set the ball faster in the in the in the side. Make the blockers move. When they're bigger, you make them move. There's a little tip for you, young setters out there. Okay, Jeremy, uh, talk about the makeup of your team: young, old, good for the future, that kind of thing. Jeremy, parle un peu de uh, la mixture de ton équipe. Tu, tu as des joueurs âgé des joueurs très très euh, très jeunes. Qu'est-ce que tu en penses Mais euh, je dirais environ la moyenne d'âge, environ se situe à 18 ans. Puis on a deux recrues, ce sont des, des bonnes recrues. Puis sinon on est beaucoup de deuxième année. Contrairement, on a un troisième année, beaucoup de deuxième année. Donc euh, à venir ici, on acquiert beaucoup d'expérience. Mais euh, sinon, on, on compte compter sur, sur, euh, sur cette expérience-là pour revenir au Québec pour être encore plus fort. Is a, is, a, is a team with an average of 17-year-old players, and they have two or three, uh, three years of CJEP. And uh, for them, it's, it was most of all to get uh, a really good experience, and they, they count on that to do better in the future. Wonderful. Well, we wish you all the best in the future. Congratulations on being here in the first place, and uh, we'll hear more of you in the future. So thank you so much. We're going to call in the uh, head coach of the Utaway team, Paul. Paul is his name. Here he comes. Okay, Paul, after a loss, not the easiest conversation to have, but <laughs> let's talk anyway. Uh, you're here. Let's talk about your team a little bit. First thing I want to ask you is, um, in all the years of volleyball I played, anytime you meet a Quebec team, the defense is unbelievable. How do you guys do it? <laughs> what is up with that? That's what the rest of Canada maybe wants to know. Well, I mean, you definitely got to work with what you have. I mean, uh, my tallest guy, well, one got tall guy, 6'8". The rest of us were short, uh -huh. quick, so you got to work in your strength. So we work a lot on defense and passing and um, you know uh, hopefully today it uh, paid off yeah. well you know what Def defense can frustrate a lot of bigger teams being a smaller player myself I always took a lot of pride in that uh, and I know the setter already talked about spreading the offense out and all of that stuff okay so you're done with the tournament right now uh, what do you do in the off season do you do you look for some bigger players how does that work for you in the CJEP well um, now we have to actually play our 21 U season okay. um, so we go on for another couple months um, I have a few, you know, pretty good physical athletes that are coming in, a little bit raw that need to work on, uh, that are within our system already. But I mean, uh, I'll get to work with them this summer and hopefully, uh, you know, bring them in in shape next year. Now you came here for the experience with a young team. Obviously, the result wasn't what you were hoping for. Uh, did you get some of that experience? Do you, do you see in some of your players that now they're going to come back next year maybe with more of an idea of what this is all about? Yeah, I mean, I have a full squad coming back pretty much next year. I'm just missing one libero. Uh, pretty key um, to the whole thing. But, I mean, you come here and you play to win, right? Yeah. You play to win the game. You do. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Good attitude. All right. Well, we wish you all the best. Uh, even though that didn't work out, great to watch you guys play. Really some impressive stuff happening on the, your side of the court. Congratulations. Great. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go to our winning team now uh, and chat with uh, the player of the game from Columbia Bible College, who has some fans in the stand, of course. Justin Wood is here. Justin, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, Justin, I have to say, I watched you yesterday, and um, I, I don't pick the players of the game, but if it was yesterday, your passing percentage was unbelievable. We are going to talk about today's game, but I didn't get a chance to talk to you yesterday. Uh, how, now, was yesterday an exceptionally good match for you? I, I thought, I know you guys didn't come out where you wanted to, but for you personally, um, I was a little bit blown away by your play in the back row. Yeah, I think I had one of my better performances of the year, yeah. but, you know, I just, like, every, every day works our thing. Practice hard. Sure. 
Okay, as a libero, what's your mentality? Now, some young players, they never, they don't want to be libero because they don't get to hit and they don't get to talk to them a little bit about how much you love this position that you've been given. Oh, libero is so much fun just being able to con control the backcourt and, you know, hit. everyone thinks that the hitters are always in control, but, you know, without the liberos and people who can pass the balls very strong, there's, hitters aren't going to get the opportunities and the, uh, the block, uh, you know, mismatches that they always want. So, being a libero is a crucial part of uh, any team dynamics, and I really love that so aspect where I can just sort of like do my thing and let my haters get all the credit for it. So. Now, when you play a team like you just did, Utaway, do you approach that any differently in the back row? Do you stand in a different spot, or are you usually playing a similar defense? Uh, it's all very similar, but it all depends on hitters and their tendencies. Um, some hitters, hit, hitters hit, like to hit the ball deeper or shallower and do weird things with the ball, so. All, but basically, it's all the same. Yeah. Right on. Uh, and one more question. So you're a smaller guy. You and me, standing eye to eye, making me feel good. Thank you very much. Uh, pretty neat, though, the position of libero, opening up, uh, opening up some doors for some smaller players. Uh, yeah, it, it is really neat. Um, there obviously are a lot of taller guys who can play libero as well. It just means that I've got to be quicker than everyone else. Yeah. So. You've got to pick them all up to stay. Exactly. exactly. So you play uh, later today again, and I guess you're looking forward to that. Yes, I am. Another match with Mount Royal. You know, it was exciting. It was a good, good quarterfinal, so yep. I know they'll be eager to, uh, you know, come out and get revenge, but... Yep. Hey, good luck. Thank you. Okay, we're going to call in some more CBC players. Jason Ward, setter. Sure, why not? Hey, let's talk to... We're talking to setters. It's like a setters uniting here right here on our webcast. Okay, talk about your game. Talk about, you know, let's look ahead. What are you going to have to do against Mount Royal offensively since you're running the show? What are you going to have to do? Uh, well, when we play them first set, we really have to spread the ball around. So our, if our passing is good, which it has been, uh, we've got lots of options everywhere. So just make sure we spread them around, uh, stay consistent, make our shots, and it should be good. One difference that I've noticed in your offense versus pretty much all the other teams here, you run a really fast set outside. Have you always done that? Is that something that you like to do as a setter or that it works well with your hitters? Talk about that. I think that's something that's progressed through the three years I've been here uh, with Manuel helping me a lot. Uh, we've worked on speed, speed, and it's increased every year. Yeah. If you've got high flyers like Will and uh, Matt and Matt, uh, yeah. it's easy to do. So. Thanks. Thanks so much for your time. We're going to get another one of your teammates on here. Number 13, Matt Erickson. Nice to have you. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Matt, nice match for you. I saw you get fired up on the outside there. Uh, talk about your play this match and, and, and the team. How, how did it feel out there? Uh, I felt pretty good. At first, we came out a little slow, so it was a little tough there. But, uh, you know, uh, I was hitting my serves well today, so it felt good. And passing was good, too. So. Yeah. Now, what is Rocky talking to you guys about uh, in the in-between time? What did he talk to you about before this match um, to get you fired up, even though you lost yesterday? Just to stay on our side and keep it on our side. It's all about our errors and our mistakes. That is, is our key, so we got to work on that, too. Yeah, got to stay mentally sharp. Yep. Right, now, are you excited about playing Mount Royal? Very excited, yeah. It's going to be lots of fun. Should yeah. be a good crowd again. Should be a good crowd. And uh, I talk about the crowd being on your side. Some people say that's like the, I was going to say seventh, but you got your libero, so let's make it the eighth player. Are you feeling that? Are you guys feeling that? It's great. They've been really awesome. Uh, it's really easy to get fired up with them, and uh, it's been a blast. Thanks so much. Congratulations. We'll see you later. And we have assistant coach. Phil is with us. Phil, congrats. Hey, you bounced back from a loss yesterday. How difficult was it? What was the atmosphere in the team room after last night's match? Uh, it was pretty difficult. That's probably the hardest loss um, I've ever experienced in, in my, uh, all my years of sport. And uh, yeah, it was pretty somber, but um, we know, you know, Nothing wrong with winning a bronze medal, so we just wanted to come in today and refocus and, yeah. Okay, so Mount Royal, you've played them before, you know them well. Um, I know you don't want to give away your game plan or anything, but uh, so we'll keep it on the down low for you. What are some things you're going to have to do to beat Mount Royal today? Um, I think obviously their left sides are really strong, so we're going to work really hard on containing them. And then as a team, we really just focus on our own side. And we feel like if we, we control the things we can control, if we pass well, uh, if we serve well, then uh, we're going to be just fine. So that's our side is going to be our focus tonight. Right. So you're going to play at 5 o'clock, I believe. What do you expect from the crowd? Uh, it's going to be crazy in here. And we're pretty excited. So, awesome. Phil, congratulations on your win after that loss. 
to bounce back, really one of the most impressive things to do in sports, so congratulations. Well, the home team is going to be playing off for the bronze medal today at 5 o'clock. We're looking forward to it. Hope you'll be here with us then.